Okay guys, we're about to do morning prayer. How are y'all doing? Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. What a night last night. I had so many internet issues. It took forever to get evening prayer uploaded. I apologize for that, guys. Um, it, it's, this has been happening for a couple of days now. I, I think it may be a lot of people are online trying to learn more about the coronavirus or learn more about what's going on. Um, and the more people I talk to, the more I find that other people are having this problem too. So um, it's a sign of the times. Uh, our prayer today is going to be a reminder that no matter what we see, he's on the throne. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> but I wanted to show you something first, something that I realized last night. It hadn't dawned on me before until yesterday when I saw what was going on at the store. And I had a couple of conversations throughout the evening. And I got in bed and I'm laying there and I'm talking to my wife. And it this dawned on me, whenever we read Ecclesiastes 12, the description in there, uh, you, when you read it, it's talking about what's going on right now. Let's go through there and I'll show you. Remember now your creator in the days of your youth, before the difficult days come, and the years draw near when you say, I have no pleasure in them. Well, we can say that right now. You know, he, he's saying you need to find God before something happens. When the sun and the light, the moon and the stars are not darkened, he's referring to the end. And the clouds do not return after the rain. This is all about the end. Uh, there's a scripture talking about it. it'll be a day of thick clouds. I have a study for that. In the day when the keepers of the house tremble. Are people doing that right now because of the coronavirus? And the strong men bow down. Well, why would they bow down if they were sick or losing family members when the grinders cease because they are few? They're either sick or they're shutting businesses down. Does that make sense? And those that look through the window, the windows grow dim. Well, if they're locked in their apartment looking out, they grow dim because they're probably dying or, or they're very sick. Listen, when the doors are shut in the streets, we got places shutting down nonstop. Every, here in Texas, every concert that's planned has been shut down. Everything, every gathering has been shut down. Um, Spain right now, their, their cases of infection double every day. I read that last night. Horrible. When the doors are shut in the streets, this business is closing, and the sound of grinding is low, very little activity is going on. When one rises up at the sound of a bird, well, if a bird chirps, that could sound like a siren, right? Or, or he, he, we could liken that to anything. And all the daughters of music are brought low. It's all, it all sounds like what's going on right now. The coronavirus is shutting everything down and people are being made to stay at home. Also, they are afraid of height. Airports are shutting down. And of terrors in the way. Anywhere you go, you know, People get out of the streets, you know what's going to eventually come there after a long enough period of time? Animals. They're going to make it into the streets. When the almond tree blossoms, I looked it up, and it's they're blossoming right now. And the, right, well, right now, as I'm filming this video, almond trees are in bloom. The grasshopper is a burden. How many places have had and are having now problems with locusts eating everything up? And desire fails. Now that would be the next thing. Desire of man is failing. Desire for everything is failing. And we see governments are <laughs> collapsing in on themselves because everybody's getting sick. It's, it's spreading like wildfire through everywhere. Uh, many of us have been talking after we watched Trump a couple of days ago. We think he might be sick. For man goes to his eternal home and the mourners go out in the streets. There's only two ways man goes to his eternal home. And that's death. Or rapture and the mourners those mourning those that are lost go out into the streets guys more the more I see and the more what's unfolding I see it right here and it matches it matches remember your creator before the silver cord is loosed or the golden bowl is broken or the pitcher shattered at the fountain or the wheel broken at the well then the dust will return to the earth as it was and the spirit will return to God who gave it that sounds to me all like the end. Now, I may be wrong, but that sure sounds like what he's talking about. And how amazing and how closely it matches. 
Now, another thing, too, is um, remember I did the videos on Daniel 8. Last night or yesterday, we went and we attacked a whole bunch of um, Iran-backed Shia militia camps and Iran Iranian camps yesterday with airstrikes. Remember what I told you about Daniel 8? We could be seeing that happening right now. Um, several of us were talking last night. It actually looks like there could be several wars that are going to kick off all at one time. And it's going to be over the coronavirus. Because what are they doing? They're all, oh, no, it's his fault. No, it's their fault. No, these guys brought it over here. They're all blaming each other. That's going to kick off a war. Guys, we're seeing Bible prophecy unfold like this world has never seen. We've, we can't even go back in time at any point in time in the last 2,000 years. Last... 1950 years we can't go back in time and say well it was like that at that time not even close we have the most prophecy currently active right now that has ever been active in this time this is it our time here is up this is it and i'm going to gear everything i can to rightly dividing the word getting people to truth to take away those fears and doubts from scripture and these prayers are going to be about edification and uplifting to remind you guys that God is on his throne no matter what happens no matter what we see what we do what we experience he's on his throne and that's going to be the focus it, it be, because we need those reminders in this day and age so we can be bold and stand strong and preach the word because as people go into fear they're going to be ready to receive it we can save one more just one more all right let's go over here the I am's of Christ there are we're gonna cover 13 of them but there are a bunch of times in the Bible where Jesus says I am and when he does it's a reminder of who he is it's a reminder of his authority it's a reminder of who's watching out for us and sometimes we need this reminder and this is where we're gonna do this prayer today this morning prayer so let's get into some prayer father we come before you this morning in the name of jesus christ to bless you and praise you and honor you and glorify you i pray blessings upon blessings on all the brothers and sisters out there blessings of peace blessings of revelation blessings of guidance of strength of boldness that you will show them what you're showing me that you will make the bible come alive for them like you've done for me that you will recall all those things to them to remind them you are god Jesus is the Christ, and we are your sons and daughters. Father, we give thanks for all the blessings you pour out upon us, and we give thanks for those who can't or haven't given thanks, for all the blessings you poured out, what you provide for us, what you do for us in protection, watching out for us, taking care of us, protecting the path in front of us, watching over us when we don't, when we forget to watch our steps. You send angels to protect us. We see the time coming and we know that you've got this covered. No matter what happens, no matter what we see or experience, we know you're on the throne. And you've instilled a desire in me to get out there and to get this proclaimed to as many people as possible. That way they know you are on the throne and they're strengthened and emboldened to go out there and to tell people God is on his throne. If you want to get out of this, you need Jesus Christ. You need to believe that he's the Son of God. How many more can we save now that the coronavirus is here? What a great opportunity to minister to people. But in the Bible, you tell us that you are, I am. And there's so much depth to that statement that I want to help everybody understand that depth to that, that term, that name, that reference to you, to Jesus because it, the, whole, the Holy Trinity, I am, it's not you were, it's not you are, it's not you will be, I am. And that means you are all the time, day and night, never ending, no end, no beginning. You're always right there. You're always right there. Every second of our existence, you're right there. And we have nothing to fear. I have 13 Bible verses I'd like to pray here, Father for your glorification. John 4, 26, Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am he. And John 6, 35, Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will not hunger, and he who believes in me will never thirst. 
John 8, 23, and he was saying to them, You are from below. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. John 8, 58, Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was born, I am. John 9, 5, While I am, at, while I am in the world, I am the light of the world. John 10, 7, So Jesus said to them again, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. John 10, 36, do you say of him whom the Father sanctified and sent into the world, you are blaspheming because I said I am the Son of God? John 11.25, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even if he dies. John 13.13, 13, you call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. John 14.6, Jesus said to him, I am the way. And the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 15, 1, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Revelation 1, 8, I am the Alpha and Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty, the Almighty I am. And Revelation 1, 17, when I saw him, I fell at his feet like a dead man, and he placed his right hand on me, saying, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. And Father, you are the I am. Lord Jesus, you are the I am. If you are the I am, we have nothing to fear, nothing to worry about. Because in every second, you are there. Every instance, you are there. Every moment and every uh, event, you are there. You're always there. We have nothing to fear and nothing to worry about. This world causes us to fear and doubt. But if we're putting our faith and trust in you, all that can go away. Father, we love you and we thank you for sending your son and sacrificing him so that we may have salvation. We thank you for that amazing gift, that gracious, merciful gift that you've given us. What an incredible incredible blessing you bestowed upon us. And I pray that one day we realize just how incredible and just fully the meaning behind that what that act was. How the importance of it. And just how amazing it, it really was. Because down here in this world it seems that the world covers up a lot of its true meaning. Help us to see that true meaning. Help us to come to the revelation that you want us to have. The knowledge and understanding you want us to have. It is in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for morning prayer. You know, no matter what, he's the I am. Nobody can make this boast. Nobody can stand in a position to even come close to this authority. If he's the one that's on the throne and he's achieved everything, why do we fear and why do we worry? We shouldn't. He takes care of all that for us. So resign yourself to the fact that you'll put, you're putting your full faith and trust in him. That you're trusting in him. And you know that he's got this covered. Now, does that mean if you don't have full faith and trust, he's going to leave? No. He's not that kind of Lord. He's not that kind of God. But you have an opportunity here to learn so much and establish your hearts. The Bible talks about that. Will you have doubts? Yes. Will you have fears? Yes. But they're a lot less when you trust him, when you fully understand what's being done here. So when we get to heaven, you'll really understand it. I love you guys. I bless you all in Jesus' name. And I will see you guys in the next video.